Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Here, I'm going to show you how to make a transparent chart in Excel, or where the background, more specifically, is transparent, like this one you see right here. The cool thing about it is it allows you to blend it in with your spreadsheet and make something that looks a little bit better than the traditional chart. In addition to that, I'm going to show you some other cool formatting tricks to help charts blend in, as well as how to hide and filter the data over here so you can see only the data you want on your chart. So basically, it's going to be kind of a tutorial about chart formatting that revolves around making it blend into the spreadsheet. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. We're going to start with a fresh worksheet. I will paste in the fake sales data here. OK, make it a little bit bigger. And let's start from scratch. So here we have the data that we want to show in the chart. Let's go ahead and insert our chart, whatever chart you want. For this one, we're just going to use a standard little line chart. Basic, simple, easy peasy. So let's go ahead and make it first transparent, and then we'll deal with some other formatting issues. So you can click the chart anywhere and then go to the Format tab and Format Selection over here. Or you can right-click the chart and get the same place. And go to the little Bucket Fill and Align section. I do hate this new way to format charts, but, you know, that's what we have to deal with. Click Fill and click No Fill. So if all you want to do is make the chart transparent, that's it, well, you're done. You don't need to watch the rest of the tutorial. But basically what I'm going to do now is just go through a bunch of other formatting stuff to make it look really nice within the worksheet or just make it so it'll fit within your worksheet. So now what we can do, since it looks horrible, is go ahead and add a little bit of formatting to the worksheet itself. Let's make it that lovely little gray. And these are gray just because I copy-pasted from the other worksheet already. So select all the cells, go up here to the little bucket dude. Let's make it a light gray. And you can see that the chart just nice and neatly adjusts the color of the cells. So you don't have to worry about changing the background of the chart or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and kill the border around the chart because I really don't like that. So click the chart area again. We can go to, this time actually, let's just right click. Go to Format Chart Area. Then under Fill, we can go to Border. Let's remove the border. OK, now you can see that when we click away, no border. And maybe you want to remove these lines right here. Just hover your mouse over them, not the plot area. But so not that, this guy right here. And then we can go over here. And for Line, just click No Line. So go to the bucket, go to the Line section and no line. And if you don't see this window here already, just once you've clicked the lines, go to Format, Format Selection, and this dude will pop up. So bucket, line, no line. OK, lines are gone. Maybe you want to get rid of months down here. You wouldn't want to do that necessarily, but I'm going to show you. So you can click them. And the easy way to do it is to just hit Delete. So for any of these things that you want to have removed, you can just click them and hit Delete and it'll go away easy peasy. Or the other way is to right click them, format axis, go to axis, no not axis options, go to labels, label position, and none. <laughs> so you can see it's a little bit more tricky. Delete is easier. But once we do this, we will have them gone. And once again, to get to the formatting window over here, once you've selected an item, click the Format tab and Format Selection if you don't see it. So now you can see that we have a chart. It's not very helpful without the axis, but uh, we have a chart that blends in very well with whatever we're doing with the background color or formatting of our worksheet. Now I'm going to back that up because it would be nice to know what the month and the numbers are. You can, of course, do the same with this title. Just delete that if you want. But now let's enable some filtering, because once you have data like this, it's really cool to be able to choose, pick and choose what you show on the chart. So we go to the Data tab, select in the data that's on the chart, and then go to Filter. Let's say we want to select. It's off the screen right now, but I'm just going to uncheck Select All, and then check January, February, and March. Hit OK. 
and you'll see the chart got really small and it doesn't look good at all. So let's back that up. The problem is that the chart moves and resizes with cells. What that means is that for filtering, it actually hides these cells, it hides these rows. And when you hide the rows over here, by default, the chart will collapse. So we can right click or go to the full chart, right click, format chart area, go here to the little size and properties window or section go to properties and we have these options here move in size with cells default move but don't size with cells or don't move or size with cells we don't want our chart to change because cells around it change so or they change their size so we'll click this option right here now let's go back to our filter and everything should be good to go January February March okay and you see the chart stays the same size and we've got three months of data and it blends in with the background. So it's pretty cool. But since you're trying to make the chart blend in with the data, the worksheet around it, maybe you also want to kill the source data or you don't want to see it, but you want it on the same worksheet. So what we can do, let's go ahead and remove filtering. I'll select the data, hit filter and it will be removed. We have to do something a little bit different. We have to now make it so the chart will show hidden cells. So this means that the filtering that I just showed you how to set up will not work because let's say we want to hide A and B. So I'll go ahead, hide A and B. Whoop, our chart is gone. <laughs> now it's very well blended. So let's back that up. Okay, click the chart, go to chart design select data and in uh, this little window right here don't change anything all is good just go to hidden and empty cells here we have a little window and this is what controls if you're going to put hidden or empty cells on the chart or not so what you want to do is go down here to show data in hidden and empty or in hidden rows and columns that guy right there Hit OK. OK. And now let's go ahead and hide these guys. Bam. So we have our chart. It didn't move when we hit the columns. It still shows the data. Everything is still good, but we don't have the data visible on the worksheet. Now, before I continue with the formatting and minimizing everything, let me just prove to you that the filtering will no longer work. So select the data, go to data, filter, let us try, okay, Jan, Feb, March, nothing changes because you see filtering just hides the rows, even though in some aspects of Excel it's treated differently. Here it's just treated as regularly hiding the rows. So since your chart will plot hidden rows and columns, it still shows up over here. So it breaks the filtering. But the thing is, you're not going to filter your data if you're going to hide it. It's going to be hidden, so you can't do filtering like this anyway. So don't worry about that. So let's continue with minimizing it. Uh, actually, I'm going to remove the little formatting arrows, okay, or the filter arrows. Let us hide this dude. And if you want the chart to move over when you do that, just click the chart, format, format selection, and okay, click the chart area out here. It's a little bit tricky. If you click an item within the chart, you don't get all the options. So click chart area, go over here, and do move, but don't size with cells. So the size won't change, but when we hide columns, then it'll move over to the left there. But now let's go to view tab and let's go to remove grid lines so you don't see grid lines because I changed the background color but if I didn't do that for the whole worksheet you would see them that's the little outline of each cell so let's go ahead and remove that and let's go ahead and remove a formula bar and headings and for good measure let's just kill this dude up here and now you've got a worksheet that looks a lot like a PowerPoint presentation kind of in that you just see a big sort of slide of data and if you go to the file and options menu you can remove the scroll bars over here and with a macro you could completely remove this dude up here and this dude up here if you wanted to
So you have a lot of options for displaying your chart, hiding all of the other data, making it just completely blend in with everything in Excel. And it's pretty cool if you're trying to make a program which isn't by default very visually exciting, something a bit more visual. So that's how you make a transparent chart in Excel, and that's how you do a bunch of other cool related formatting things to make it blend in with the spreadsheet. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.